Hey y'all, and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian, and Donald Trump shows in this clip right here the vast ocean of differences between the more presidential Donald Trump and the doddering old fool Joe Biden. This is what we're having to pick against, and you know what? Let's play the clip and show what Donald Trump can really do. So now Biden is trying to gaslight the American public yep. by claiming that his border disaster is Republicans' fault. It's the Republicans' fault. Look at these great people, all big, big shot politicians. It's your fault. Even though we had the safest border, the best border in history three years ago, he's actually trying to blame us for the border. And I think it's just disgraceful. And that's what they do. They're a party of disinformation. They will take something and they feel if you say it over and over and over again, people will start to believe it. This is purely Global set up strategy. by Democrats, and I think they're trying to get out. Medical? Okay? Yeah, medical, please. Is, are they okay? Yeah. Please, go ahead. Doctor in the house, thank you. Thank you. I love those people. You know, they're waiting outside for... 10 hours, 12 hours. I love you, darling. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, this is, we don't want to see anybody, even the other side, we don't want to see them hurt. Even the other side. Thank you, doctor. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Take your time, doctor. These are our great friends. These are our loyal, incredible friends. We take care of everybody, but we take care of our friends. You see, if this were the State of the Union address, I wouldn't do that because <laughs> it's got to be this way. You can't say, oh, some, but we're all very good friends. We love each other. It's very hot outside. We have to go. Right? Right, Robert? Thank you, doctor. Great job. Thank you. I'm getting a thumbs up. They have a great group here. We have a great group of people. All right, let's get going, right? Come on, let's go. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. And that great supporter, I want to thank you. They've been here so long and standing in the sun. Y'all, you know, what started off as a simple Biden bad, the borders absolutely destroyed. You know what, I'll get to that later, but it changed very quickly because this is Las Vegas, Nevada. It's hot out there. It's hot out there in the desert. Granted, it's a dry heat and I can deal with the dry heat, but a lot of people will get, will have problems. And apparently uh, medical professionals actually had to be called to help this person who collapsed. Donald Trump then recognizes this and immediately calls out the person and wants to give proper honor and support to the people whose job it is to protect others. Whose job it is, is to resuscitate us. That's what a president is supposed to look like. It, it's like those moments in the, major concert where someone's been in the mosh pit too long, takes a hit the wrong way, and ends up just basically spazzing out on the floor. And the medical professionals are forced to come in and intercede. That's sort of what's going on here. Except the difference is, sorry, not the difference, the likeness is the best bands say, we'll stop the music, help out the person, the lead singer will call out what's going on. That's what makes a good band, and that's what makes a good president. And unfortunately, this is where I have to pivot and start talking about Joe Biden. I don't want to talk about Joe Biden. I don't like him. I have lost all respect for him, given the things that I have learned through these past few years. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to give a shout out to my friends over at Colonial Metals Group. 
Their experts understand exactly what they're doing with gold, silver, and other precious metals, unlike our current leadership, which is giving us rampant inflation, terrible Federal Reserve policies, a president that doesn't know what planet he's on, and of course, an out of control Congress that won't stop spending. We have to figure out ways to keep our wealth safe. And the best way to do that is to go over my friends at Colonial Metals Group, because their experts can help you diversify your portfolio, and they've got an amazing offer for first time accounts. Free gold, silver IRA accounts, insured storage for five years, up to $7,500 in silver delivered directly to your home and a safe to keep all that stuff in. So go over regardless and see what they can do for you and protect your wealth and your future today. Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. What we have learned is that he is a directly corrupt individual. His mind is completely melted. He needs to be in a hospital, not hospice care. He needs to be in an old folks home and he needs to be surrounded by his family. Meanwhile, you have Donald Trump, who for the first time in years made a huge weird gap where he's just sort of staring at the teleprompter. Compare that to, let's see, falling off his bike, falling upstairs, uh, getting per people's name wrong, inserting a literal per person's first name, person's last name, because he's reading directly off of teleprompter. Which do you think the media is running with? Donald Trump staring off into space, which he actually wasn't doing in that clip, or Joe Biden not only making gaffes, but can't even get people's names correctly, naming dead people. And, <laughs> and the biggest one of all, I think, is having a handicapped person please stand up. Those are real things that have actually happened just under the Biden presidency. Forget the 40 years of gaffes. As a matter of fact, the gaffes got so bad that Joe Biden, based, sorry, not Joe Biden, Barack Obama had to lock Joe Biden away from the press for about, for like 40 days and 40 nights so Obama could do damage control without Joe Biden saying something that's just absolutely asinine. That's what we have to choose between here, y'all. We have to choose between a man who looks out into the crowd and says, oh, there's a problem. Hey, paramedics, can you help out this person? And then give honor to those paramedics in the best way he knows how by simply saying these people are great these people are wonderful they're doing their jobs and y'all are awesome too y'all been out here uh in the desert heat i think that's why this person collapsed it's hot out here you've been here for hours i respect you that's better than anything you are going to get with joe biden ever it's no contest so the fact that people are choosing between a senile old fool and a man who actually says, give a round of applause to our paramedics and then give a round of applause for yourselves for braving these ridiculous conditions for hours upon end. I, I don't know. If you have a problem with that, please, please make me understand so I can help you along, help you understand where you are missing the point. You might, be, you might be in a B-52 bomber, you think that you're over the target, when in reality you're bombing your own allies. You're making everything worse when you choose Joe Biden over Donald Trump. That is just the sad reality. Or even not choosing Donald Trump and not choosing Joe Biden. There is a side we have to be on here. And it's on the Trump train. Just for lack of a better word, that's the system we're given. That's the players, that's the person that brought us to the dance. Dance with the one that brought you there. At least Donald Trump has some cohesion, has a better idea of what this country needs. Joe Biden is just rubber stamping, not a liberal agenda, but a left-wing agenda. And it's destroying our country and rotting us to the core. It must be stopped. And if y'all don't understand that from a clip like this, I'm not sure what else to tell you. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibro. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then... Y'all have a good one.